Hi friends, welcome to Vidya's Cooking. Today I'm going to be showing you how to prepare semia pongal. Let's look into all the ingredients required for this recipe and get started. The detailed recipe will be posted in my blog. Blog link will be in the description box below this video or you can click the icon above this video. All the ingredients used in this recipe will be listed in the description box below this video. Now let's look into all the ingredients required for this recipe. I'll be using split mung beans or moong dal. Vermicelli, asafoetida, curry leaves and slit green chilies, crushed ginger, crushed pepper and cumin seeds. These are the ingredients required for the pongal. For the chutney, we will require fresh coconut, roasted Bengal gram, chilies, tamarind and garlic. For tempering, we will require split black gram, mustard, chilies and asafoetida. This is a very quick and easy chutney recipe which pairs very well with the pongal. I'm going to start preparing the semia pongal first. I will dry roast the split mung beans on very low flame. Make sure you place the flame on low and heat a wok. Allow the wok to reach nice hot temperature and then add your mung beans and start dry roasting it. Constantly keep stirring it till the mung beans turn light brown in color. The mung beans will start releasing a good aroma. That is when your mung beans are fried. So once uh, the mung beans has uh, released that aroma and it starts turning light pink in color, you can remove it from the flame and reserve it in a bowl. Wash it thoroughly and we will start cooking it in a pressure cooker. Now in the same wok, I'll be adding the vermicelli. I'll dry roast the vermicelli on low flame. The same method how I fried the mung beans, I'll dry roast the vermicelli. I'll constantly keep stirring it till it turns light pink in color and a good aroma starts releasing. So that is when I'll be removing the vermicelli from the flame. Now it is dry roasted, I'll remove it from the flame. I've washed the mung beans thoroughly and I've added it to a pressure cooker along with water. I'll place a cover and a whistle and I'll cook this till the mung beans has cooked thoroughly. So it took roughly about three whistles to cook. I'll start preparing the chutney. In a mixer jar I've added chilies, garlic, tamarind and a roasted Bengal gram. I'll also add the coconut which is washed and I peel the outer skin and I've chopped it into small pieces and added it to the mixer jar. I'll also add salt as per taste. First I'll coarsely grind this and once it's coarsely ground I'll start adding water and I'll grind it into a smooth paste. The coconut chutney is ready. I'll temper it. I'll reserve it in a bowl and I'll temper this. Meanwhile my mung beans has cooked. I've opened the lid. You just have to run your spoon once to make sure the mung beans is uh, nicely cooked. The mung beans has cooked, I'll reserve it. Let's start preparing the pongal. I've heated a wok on medium flame. To the wok, I've added oil and ghee. If you're using two tablespoons of oil, you need to use one tablespoon of ghee. Or you can use two tablespoons of ghee and one tablespoon of oil. Heat the wok on low to medium flame. Once the ghee has heated well, I've added the cumin seeds. 
and allowed the cumin seeds to splutter a bit and then added the crushed pepper and I've also added the crushed ginger. I'll fry all the ingredients till the raw flavor from the ginger reduces. Now I've uh, started to add a sifetida. Split, split green chilies and curry leaves. I'll fry all these ingredients. I'll add water. So for every one cup of vermicelli, you need to add two cups of water. I've added salt as per taste. I'll bring this to a rapid boil. And once the water has started to boil, at that point I'll add the vermicelli. We need to cook this. The vermicelli need to cook on low to medium flame till it's half done. So once the vermicelli has cooked uh, till it's half done, I'm going to add the cooked dal to this. Now the reason why I'm telling you to add uh, cooked dal once the vermicelli is half done is because it will evenly cook and it will mingle with that dal. So allow this uh, water content to reduce and also the vermicelli to cook evenly. Don't worry the water will be absorbed by the dal and vermicelli, it will cook evenly. I will temper the chutney while my vermicelli is cooking. In a small fry pan I have added oil. Now to this I will be adding the mustard seeds split black gram dal and the red chili along with the uh, asafoetida. I've also added uh, two sprigs of curry leaves and I'm going to fry this tempering and add it to the coconut chutney. Now my coconut chutney is ready. We can serve this coconut chutney. At this point, the water from the vermicelli has reduced and the vermicelli has cooked evenly. Even the dal has mingled very well with the vermicelli. I will remove it from the flame and you can store this in the hot pack till you are serving it. My mother also prepared uh, medu vadas. I have already posted a recipe how to prepare medu vadas on my blog and video. I'll post the link to Meduvada's recipe in the description box below this video or you can click the icon above this video which will direct you to my blog or the video. So this is a wonderful uh, Sunday brunch you can call it because it's a very nice and heavy meal. You can prepare this ahead of time and you can store this Meduvada batter in the fridge and prepare it on Sunday. Also like me and follow me on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter friends. All my social media handle links will be in the description box below this video. The same recipes are also translated and posted in YouTube channel. YouTube channel link will also be in the description box below this video. So along with this uh, fresh and crispy medu vadas, the semya pongal was wonderful. You should try such recipes, creating such uh, traditional recipes and creating a tradition on Sundays. So prepare such brunch for your family and give them a wholesome meal. I've served the chutney, vada and the semya pongal. It turned out really good. My parents really enjoyed it. So do give this recipe a try and post your comments. All the links to my blog and social media will be in the description box below this video. If you enjoyed watching this video recipe, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to me for more recipes. I've gone ahead and served my semya pongal with medu vadas and chutney. I'll be seeing you soon with the next recipe video. This is Vidya Lakshmi. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.